beyond the illusion, questioning our perception of self. We often perceive ourselves as separate from the world around us. We see ourselves as the experiencer, the observer of life's events. But what if this perception is an illusion? What if we are the consciousness that enables perception? Imagine a clear mirror defined by its ability to reflect. Our true self is pure awareness, not defined by thoughts or experiences. Like a mirror, our essence remains unchanged by life's events. We are the silent witness, the backdrop of life's drama. To understand ourselves, we must look beyond fleeting thoughts and emotions. The Rose Analogy Unveiling the true nature of observation. Consider a rose, its vibrant color, delicate petals, and intoxicating fragrance. All exist as perceptions within our awareness. But what is it that allows us to perceive these qualities? Is it not the very act of observation itself? When we look at a rose, we are not merely passive recipients of sensory information. We are actively engaging with the object of our perception, shaping and molding it with our attention. The act of observation is not a one-way street, but a dynamic interplay between observer and observed. The color red, for instance, does not exist inherently within the rose itself. It is a quality that arises from the interaction between the rose's physical properties, the light reflecting off its surface, and our own visual perception. The same principle applies to all our experiences. The world as we know it is not a fixed and objective reality but a fluid and subjective creation woven from the threads of our perception. The fluid self, dissolving the illusion of a fixed identity. If our perceptions shape our reality, then what does this say about our sense of self? We often cling to the idea of a fixed and unchanging identity a collection of traits, beliefs, and experiences that define who we are. But if our perceptions are constantly shifting and evolving, can our sense of self truly be static? Imagine a river flowing endlessly towards the ocean. Our sense of self is not a fixed entity, but a fluid and dynamic process shaped by the ever-changing currents of our experiences. Our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs are like the water in the river, constantly flowing and transforming. To realize our true nature, we must let go of our attachment to a fixed identity and embrace the fluidity of our being. Section 4. The Observer as the Canvas embracing the infinite potential within. If we are not our thoughts, feelings, or experiences, then who are we? We are the observer, the silent witness, the spacious awareness in which all these things arise and fall away. Imagine a vast, empty canvas. It is not defined by the paintings that adorn it, but by its inherent potential to hold an infinite number of possibilities. Similarly, our true self is not defined by the experiences we have, but by our infinite capacity to experience. We are the space in which life unfolds, the silent backdrop against which the drama of existence is played out. We are the canvas upon which our experiences are painted, the stage upon which our lives are performed. When we recognize ourselves as we truly are, we tap into a realm of infinite possibilities. 
we free ourselves from the limitations of our ego and step into the vastness of our true nature. <laughs> 